Hello, my bladed fiends, it's me again. Bill. Today I'm gonna bring you to a few of the venues that make it possible for me to skate throughout the year. Oh, that drag stop sounds chunky. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> Thanks. You learn fast. Remember when I first started power sliding? The uh, biggest problem I had was healing. Picked a lot of gravel out of my quads back then. The worst was when you slide into gravel and oil. All right, nobody crossing the crosswalk. Oh, that's good. Now I get to speed. Here we go. Let's hit 50. Almost. I say about 42 at the very best. Oh, at least I tried. Stop life. Let's hit the alleys. Street traffic is pretty high right now. It's probably the worst time to come out. Four to five. So, my favorite little secret to transport here. Shuffle the wheels. If you're going past the construction site, you should try to not coast. If you roll over pebbles with any weight or pieces of gravel, you can turn them into bullets. Never when you try though. <sighs> this will be an edit. So, I'm going to bring you to the ice rink, which I use the whole year through, when there's ice. This is probably the only time of the year I haven't been able to use it. It's basically mush. They anticipated starting hot December 4th, and it's been a up and down ride temperature wise. A lot of 10 degrees, which is great for inline. Not so good for ice. This is nice. A little belly cam going on. The arms get tired. I actually developed a case of lateral epicondylitis from holding my GoPro stick too much in last year's ice skating adventures outside of the rink. Whoa, that was close. Water, try gently. It's an alley, so there's probably oil. All right. So we're coming up to home stretch, which you'll recognize from many of my videos. It's how I like to end them. Today it's kind of a midpoint. This section here really proves that you don't need a big downhill for a lot of speed. You simply need a nice, smooth incline with little traffic and no stoplights or stop signs. All right, these are gone. So let's hit a slalom up here. See what I mean? Just a little too busy. Nobody watch me there. Here we go, let's take it. I got more. I'm always disappointed when I look at video. And my sprints are only like Four strides. Come on, man. Can't blame the little goober, can we? Back to 
lovely. That's really close to where I live too. Oh boy, here we go. Happy. <laughs> This whole trail and every sub trail last year, all this grass and yeah, the ring too, where I step. I actually got a chance to skate everywhere I've walked in this neighborhood, or at least this park area. Rubber mat technique, boom. So what do we have at the rink? Pretty good. The ice is high, and so am I. No, I'm not. Just on life, baby. So, I think I'm gonna have to break in tonight. I mean, I think I'm going to have to bypass the usual security mechanisms. Break in. That sounds so crass. Like, this isn't my rink. All right. Let's take a topographical here. Oh yeah. So let's hit the trail and I'll show you a little more of what kept me skating throughout the year. I did do a few snow skates, but snow skates when it's powder and the road's not exposed, it's really just running on your skates and choosing a safe moment to glide. If you do get any independent stride glide, it's really only at the expense of your energy. Not efficient at all. Just for showing off and proving you can do a stride glide to your YouTube subscribers, hypothetically. I imagine there's a lot of douchebags out there like that, fronting and maxing. Tomorrow is going to be windy, and this trail in the wind can be a bitch. So, today's the right day for a lot of reasons. I barely made sundown this whole ending my work day to get some shots before the sun goes down at like noon. It's driving me crazy. The boardwalk's pretty busy, a bit of a last hurrah. By busy, I mean like, I don't know, six people ahead of me in the next 500 meters. Ooh. So we're coming up upon the old ice wall of 2015. Let's see if we can find a good piece of grass to roll to get closer. I think I rolled almost all of these except that one. That one is just a little too far out to be bridged. This is my main one. I hit it 2014, 2015. And the Extreme Ice Park took place over here. It really was a case of the entire waterfront being connected by skatable ice. Little waves and curls, mounds. It's just really hard connecting it because every once in a while you would hit an air pocket and it's not good. Oh, hey little guy. Good boy. What a good puppy. All right, let's go off the boardwalk. Uh, actually, I'm going to finish it. I like being Thunder Wheels. Thunder Wheels. Better. Faster, stronger than the Angry Hornet. And we're off. Oh, I think 
think he sounded off to. No, we're good. And we're done. Slam it. Because it's been such a mild winter, I haven't really had to worry about any unorthodox venues. My elbows are healing, my body's healing, and I'm actually getting stronger in the gym again. Sometimes an abated pace can really give you the strength and healing you needed. I think the rolling vlog thing has its uses, but when oxygen leaves the brain, it's hard to talk or think really. I think I've run out of things to say. And if you knew me, you'd say, that's impossible. Truth is, I'm a little winded. And this pole is heavy, damn it. I need to figure out what Casey needs that is packing. It's not the camera gear, dude. It's the arms. Probably. All right, I'm done. I'm gonna grab a bench, take some water in, and enjoy the damn sunset. Because that's why I live here. The beaches, or Beachville. Here's one more venue I hit in the ice storm two years ago and a bit last year as well. It's Kew Gardens. Kew Gardens has a mild topography. So there are some hills, there's a few routes that help you jump. But it's really quite skatable. Not completely flat, so it's not entirely boring. Can't really be rolled today, the grass. It's been raining too much lately. Let's see if I can find a patch which I won't sink into too much. Squirrels apparently are getting fat this year. They've had way too long to gather food and they just are not stopping anytime soon. Getting really bold too. Walk right up to you and pull your shit right out of your hands. Seriously, here we go. Oh, do we have anything? We got something. Just a little pull to where I want to be. The gazebo. This is about the only thing that didn't ice up last year. And it's only because it has a roof. Beautiful. Okay, I think it's time to bring it home. I've shown you everything I've skated in the winter. I'm showing you the stairs I will not roll here because they're wet, they're mossy. I could chip them. And there have been cases of people wiping out on hardwood floors uh, lengthwise and getting serious splinters. I think one guy was even impaled through the groin to death. So yeah, I'm really careful about what hardwood floors I choose to skate on and which ones I power stop on. Which is none of them because I just told you that story, right? Lovely little anecdote. Alright, look out for dogs. This is their park. I'm down with that. Little fur angel. Down the brakes. Half power slide. Not full. A failure, but a success. I stopped, right? Well, this has been a trip and a half. I'm gonna have to work my arms up more to bring you on more rides with multicam and a microphone. I hope you're extending your autumn and summer and getting your skate on at every dry possible or impossible chance. Power slide.